thieves have replaced the cash, but the thieves have not been sleeping, and every week the police have a case to solve related to plastic card fraud. We have to create a culture of following the money. All crimes are financed, so we must be able to understand who is financing these type of crimes and how is this money moving. Credit and debit cards have opened up a new window of crime. Last year, four Bulgarian nationals were arrested for stealing money from automated machines. They were found with 38 ATM cards, PIN numbers and other gadgets. Sometimes the thieves do not even need to steal your ATM card to steal from you. People have been putting electronic chips in the ATMs. Once when you come and use your card to withdraw, then they pick your details, go and make a, duplicate the card. These kinds of crime fall under the sophisticated crime bracket. Not just anyone is capable of pulling them off, except for a select few who have certain characteristics. They are big time crimes, white collar, I would call them, sophisticated, very learned, with very good knowledge and understanding of IT. Because you must have that understanding of IT to be able to make, for example, a counterfeit card. The counterfeit cards can be made almost anywhere. Because what I need to make a fake Visa card are your card details. That is all. If I get your card details, if I get your PIN number, I'll just go and sit in the back of my room. The most common fraudsters in this business in Africa have been known to be of Nigerian origin. But that does not mean that the threat is far away. In a three-day workshop, the police force hopes to build its capacity to handle these plastic fraudsters. As caution, police say when you enter the ATM booth, be sure to check that no one is behind you. Check for any suspicious cameras. Check that the slot for your card is not suspiciously different from the one you normally use. And be sure to cover the numbers you press as you enter your PIN. Josephine Karunji, MCC, NTV.